Hello everyone. Today I'm going to provide you a complete formula of mensuration. In mensuration there are three exercises in class 10. Plane surface, cylinder and sphere, prism and pyramid. So today I'm going to provide you a complete formula of mensuration. No need to turn your books too after looking my video. Okay, let's start. So I'm going to start from plane surface. Plane surface. Okay, first formula of plane surface is area of triangle. So let's area of triangle. Area of triangle when triangle in the form of right angle, right angle in the form of right angle. Then area of triangle formula half base into height, base and height. A B c bc is the base and ab is the height so area of triangle formula half base into height similarly when triangles in the form of equilateral all the sides are equal it means equilateral triangle all the sides are equal of triangle it means equilateral triangle so what is the formula area area formula of equilateral triangle area of equilateral triangle formula of equilateral triangle root 3 by 4 a square so area of equilateral triangle formula root 3 by 4 a square similarly next triangle is there isolate triangle where two sides are equal two sides are equal and this one base a B C so area of isolate triangle formula area of isolate triangle formula B by 4 root under 4 a square minus B square area of triangle right angle formula right angle triangle formula this one area of equilateral triangle formula this one isolate triangle so area of isolate triangle formula b by 4 4 a square minus b square meaning of b means base and a means equal side after this last one is there Heron's formula Heron's formula of when the sides of triangles are not equal a b c in front of capital a small a in front of capital b small b and in front of capital c small c here sides of triangle is not equal here we have to find out first semi perimeter First, you have to find out semi perimeter, which is also known as small s a plus b plus c by 2. Sum of all sides a plus b plus c by 2. And after this, we have to use formula area of triangle a b c is equal to root under s s minus a s minus b s minus c. The meaning of S means semi perimeter. A, B, C are the sides of triangle. So here we have four formula from plane surface. First exercise of mensuration, which is in class eight, nine, and ten. You can look at this formula. And after this exercise, next exercise is related with cylinder and sphere. So you will get formula from cylinder and spare too. Okay, now next cylinder and spare. Cylinder and spare. Second lesson of mensuration. Now I'm going to provide you a formula of cylindrical cylinder and spare you can draw the diagram okay 
this one is the height this one radius curved surface area of cylinder CSA curved surface area of cylinder 2 pi R H TSA of cylinder formula 2 pi R R plus H similarly volume volume of cylinder pi r square h we have three formula of cylinder csa of cylinder 2 pi r h tsa of cylinder 2 pi r r plus h and the volume of cylinder pi r square h the value of pi means 22 by 7 also you can use or in decimal also you can use as your wish after this spare let's draw the diagram of a sphere first a sphere is not a circle you can take football globe tennis ball these are the sphere example of sphere okay here surface area of a sphere surface area of a sphere is equal to 4 pi r square and the volume volume of sphere is equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube where r is r means radius half of diameter similarly let's go for hemisphere also half of sphere This one is hemisphere, which is half of a sphere, radius. Height of hemisphere and the radius of hemisphere both are same. Don't be confused. This is also known as height. Height of hemisphere or radius of hemisphere. Both same. So here we can say CSA of hemisphere. Curved surface area of a hemisphere formula. 2 pi r square similarly TSA total surface area of hemisphere is equal to 3 pi r square and volume of hemisphere is equal to 2 by 3 pi r cube hemisphere is half of sphere and the height of hemisphere and the radius of hemisphere both are same sometimes question related with height of hemisphere is given students become confused height of hemisphere means radius of hemisphere so in the place of h or height we can put the value of r h and r both are equal here Okay, after this prism and pyramid remaining, cylinder and sphere formula is here. CSA of cylinder, TSA of cylinder and volume of cylinder, all three formulas are here. Similarly for a sphere, surface area of a sphere and volume of a sphere which is here and this one is hemisphere. CSA of hemisphere, curved surface area, total surface area and volume of hemisphere are here. And after this remaining pyramid and prism, so I turn the page same. Prism PRISM. Let's draw the diagram first. Okay, this one height of prism base means this A, B, C. You can Sometimes base will be equilateral triangle, equilateral or isosceles or right angle. So according to that, you have to use here formula. So lateral surface area LSA of prism. LSA of prism means perimeter of base into height. Perimeter of 
base into height perimeter of base means here a plus b plus c height means h or you can say p h perimeter of base into height similarly tsa tsa of prism means 2a plus p h 2a means area of base if equilateral triangle you have to use equilateral triangle formula if right angle you have to use right angle formula if isolated triangle you have to use isolated triangle formula a means area of base area of base we have to find out p means you know like before a plus b plus c sum of all sides of base and height means height of this prism so tsa formula 2a plus ph similarly volume formula volume of prism a into h a h a means area of base area of base area of this triangle we have to find out area of this base we have to find out into h h means height of the prism a area of base either equilateral triangle or isosceles triangle or scalene triangle or right angle triangle according to that we have to find out area of base and some areas are given here if right angle triangle we have to use this formula if equilateral triangle we have to use this formula if isolates we have to use this formula if scalene triangle so we have to use this formula where sides are not equal so we have a three formula from prism also lateral surface area total surface area and volume after this pyramid remaining let's draw the diagram of pyramid pyramid four triangular shape is there a pyramid this one is known as height h vertical height and this one is known as slant height l l slant height and this one vertical height slant height l vertical height h this part is the half of base base means this one a okay. here also we have three formula first formula is lsa lateral surface area of pyramid lateral surface area of pyramid formula 2a l a means base l means slant height 2 a l similarly tsa total surface area of pyramid is equal to a square plus 2 a l total surface area of pyramid a square plus 2 a l after this volume volume of pyramid formula one by three a into h or one by three a means a square into h when base is square 1 by 3 a into h area of base into a means area of base into height height means this h means vertical height not slant height h l difference is here this l means slant height this h means vertical height so volume formula volume of pyramid formula 1 by 3 a square h or, vol or area of base into height you can say so here we have total formula complete formula of mensurations which is in class 9 10 Thanks for watching my video.
please keep supporting like share with your friends spread the knowledge